Good afternoon everyone, this is JV of Let's Kulong Pare and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Tire Philippines. Now, I'm going to talk about ply composition. So, every tires that are available in the market are required to have or to declare their ply compositions in, on the tire sidewall. It is one of the tires sidewall marking that uh, up to now most consumers still don't know. So, I'll show you what it looks like, okay? So I have here two examples, okay? So here are my two examples. Uh, the first example is a tire that is intended to be fitted for uh, ultralight trucks or vans, okay? So it, ha it would have a much larger weight carrying capacity and the other tire would have, it would be a, a motorcycle tire, okay? So in the first example, I'll show you how ply composition would look like so this is how it looked like. Uh, okay, it looks like. So if you're going to focus it in the tread, it will have, this tire will have two polyester plies, two steel plies, and two nylons. Now on the side wall naman, it will have two plies of polyester. So if in case I would cut this, this is the tread area of your tire. If I would cut it, I'll be able to find six uh, plies, okay? And, um, if I would cut the sidewall, it will also, I would also find uh, two plies of, made of polyester. Now, yung, uh, what are the performance traits or the, perfor the traits that is linked to the ply composition? Um, usually, usually, kasi most consumers are confused. Bakit um, parehas lang ng size, yung isa mas mura, yung isa mas mahal. So one of the reason is the ply composition. Also, the ply composition is linked um, with the tires uh, load uh, here as you can see this is a 185 R14 it uh, it is linked on the load capacity or weight carrying capacity of the tire okay I'm not saying young numbers lang again like I said it's not just the number but the the the, the materials used okay for the ply composition so it dictates to the weight carrying capacity of the tire. It also uh, help improve the tire's uh, durability in the tire's endurance and the tire's protection against um, road hazard, wherein if you have uh, this much applies, strong composite materials on the tread area, um, it can help uh, prevent a penetrating cut or a puncture also on the sidewall, it can withstand much greater weight, okay, because of the ply composition and the polyester used. Also, it can withstand perhaps a greater force when it comes to pin shock and um, sidewall cuts. Now, ito din yung opportunity for me to show that this tire, okay, ito yung sinasabi kong pagkakaiba ng ply rating at ply, okay, so this tire, Okay, if you're going to look at it, um, as we focus this one, it has 8 ply rating, okay, 8 ply rating, but if you're going to count, count it, okay, if you're going to count it, um, 2, 4, 6, it only has 6 uh, plies, okay, the 2 plies on the sidewall is counted as polyester on the tread ply, so 2, 4, 6, it's not 8, it's just 6 plies, literally. Um, this means that these six uh, plies inside this tire, okay, uh, will have a ply rating of 8, okay? But again, it does not tell a consumer any important information. I'd rather look at um, the tire's weight carrying capacity. So this case, in single fitment, this tire can carry 850 kilos at 65 psi this is what we're talking about per tire okay now let's look at the other example this time it's a uh, a motorcycle tire okay if we look closer this is uh the thread ply composition or the ply composition of this uh motorcycle tire so it's all made of nylon and this time uh it will have three plies on thread that is made of nylon and two plies on the sidewall, okay. 
Okay, so let's take the example um, of the motorcycle tire. Okay, so the motorcycle says in the tread, okay, in the tread, it will have uh, three plies. Okay. Okay, now on the, on the sidewall, okay, it will have two plies. Okay, for, for you guys to know uh, as a consumer, uh, this is how it is laid um, inside the tire. If I would cut the tire in a cross section, I'll be able to trace it this way. Okay, so imagine this is your, you know, your tire, okay, in a cross sectional. Uh, if I cut it in a cross section, this is what you will see, okay. So in the tread, in the tread area, which is here, it says three plies, okay, so three. So this is the first one and this is the second okay this is the third okay so this is your three plies okay now on the tire sidewall okay there are several configuration of tire designers one of which is they just um this is what you call the casing ply okay they just extend it to the turn up so it will be raised up to this height okay depending on the design so it will be raised on this height okay so it will be counted as one okay and two so in this scenario your sidewall has two plies okay now there are configuration that is called the true triple sidewall or true uh, double sidewall so if another way to put it is this okay so uh, I would, I would, uh, I would uh, first draw the casing ply, okay. Okay, then I will draw a second casing ply, okay. Then I said through triple or double sidewall. Usually, this other brands, popular brands like the Maxis, uh, would do this type of configuration. The Maxis, the CST, also the Michelin, um, they would do the same, okay. Uh, this way they would configure their tires this way in terms of ply composition so now I only have to add one here so if I would count one two and three so this will be your um, three plies okay referential to this uh, ply composition and if I would cut count here one two so this will be your uh, two plies in the sidewall so that's how it looks like if i'm going to draw it um as a uh, for for consumers to interpret what are these numbers the ply compositions that is declared on the sidewall marking now again going back to our example let's go back to our tires okay so these tires like i said um, the thread ply composition and the ply composition of your the ply composition of your tire dictates two things. One is the load carrying capacity. Okay. Also, it it it, it dictates the um, somehow its protection against road hazard and puncture resistance, especially on this thread. Okay. But also, it could be um, uh, some uh, factor in terms of durability on the sidewall. So in this tire. Uh, the 185R14 UE168, this is quite intended for a heavy loading use and usually it might, it will need or require more plies inside it for uh, durability, for strength, okay? For strength, not durability, for strength. However, those three or six plies on the tread will be somewhat like a protection in case of puncture. Okay, and also on the sidewall, which is the two plies that are incorporated in it. So there you go, folks. I hope you guys learned from these examples. Uh, and this video is about, again, ply compositions. Now, um, if you want to know more about ply compositions, and if you want to know more about um, these uh, tire designs, you can just visit um my facebook uh, page uh that's gulong pare kaalaman tungkol sa gulong by dr tire ph now if you want to know more about tire technical 
and um, safety tips uh, please like and subscribe to my youtube channel dr tire philippines i am dr tire philippines thank you so much and i'll see you again next time bye